Hello guys, this is Rise 69501 and welcome to another long Halloween video event. Oh yeah. Well, we are now on issue 4 of 13 of this great story. Check out that cover. Well, what I like about this cover is if you can see that we see the Batman and the Joker holding each other's, you know, holding a glass of champagne and the, and the reflection of each one of them on the glass. Check that out. I don't know if you can see it. But it's a nice car. Well, we are now in New Year's Eve. Not much happening on this, on this specific comic book. Not much. And we get to see that we are... We see the, the Joker, as we can see here, crazy as always, that he killed everybody on the airport, I mean, kind of on the dock, and he steals a plane, a crop dust plane, because he wants to spray his laughing gas in Gotham uh, Times Square, kind of. Because they're all waiting for, everybody's waiting for, you know, that the club will be midnight so everybody, everybody can celebrate New Year's Eve. So Batman goes to the rescue. And Batman knows that the Joker is doing it because the Joker always proclaimed Gotham City to be his city. And he doesn't like the idea about holiday taking the spotlight away from him. So the Joker doesn't like it. Now we're only taking the spotlight, all also taking away Batman's Batman attention. So you know the Joker is like a kid. He just wants attention. So that's the Joker. So from there we see we go to the Harvey Dance office, he's working late and one of his helpers one that works on his office he says look I found a connection between uh, between Carmine the Roman Falcone Falcone and Bruce Wayne there's a connection between those two and Harvey then kind of like say that again well like I said I found a connection I've been reading all cases and this and that, and I found a connection between Bruce Wayne and the Falcon family. So then we, from there we go back to, to the plane where Batman is fighting the Joker mid-air while flying the plane. All that's happening all, the, all at the same time. Hey, that can only happen in comic books. So, nothing much. Finally, uh, what it is that they're still fighting and then from there we go to Gotham Harbor where there is Falcon Jack you know there's the two main families two rival families celebrating New Year's Eve so the Falcon so they're all talking about this holiday guy you know it's big bad for business but Falcon said to the other family the other member his name is uh, it's just so many names here. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Salvatore. Right. So, Carmine tells Salvatore, look, uh, this holiday thing is being bad for business, this and that, but I noticed that the holiday is only killing members of my family or member of my organization. I do not see any blood on your side of the table. So, Salvatore, he's kind of like, he was like, what do you mean? And Carmen say, well, Happy New Year. Maybe this will be your last, your last year to be alive. So that means that Falcone thinks that Carmine has hired a hitman to be to to be killing members of the Falcon family as holiday. 
So now we have another suspect. Suspects never end. So now we have the kind the Falcon doesn't trust the timer. Although they never trust each other, but now they trust less. So he's talked to his sister and this and that, and he said, well, like you always, uh, just like Papa said, you keep your, your friends closer, but your enemies closer. Eh, Carmine? So Carmine, his answer is, the same could be said about you and me, Carla. Even if you, even if you are my sister, have you seen Alberto? Alberto is his son, the good son. You know that always on this crime family they have a son or a daughter that doesn't belong, that is not part of the business. They just want to have a normal life outside of the mob business life. So he's outside on the deck. So his sister Carla go on the deck to find his son or her nephew. And what happens? Well, the pages turn black and white. Check that out. His son got killed. So Alberto is killed. And obviously he fell in the water. Check that out. So now, we're going back to Harvey then. Harvey then go finally, he went to his house and he asked and his wife asked him why your hair is wet and Harvey then says well it's snowing also so what a coincidence Alberto gets killed the boat is in the middle of Gotham Harbor so nobody heard a boat uh, going away from the main job so that means that whoever the killer is, he jumped off of the ship and went back swimming. So Harvey then goes home and his and his and his hair is all wet. So now we're going back to the same suspect as we, at least in my case, I thought from mission number one. When I thought here that Harvey then was innocent, when I thought he was guilty, now we see him here guilty. Now we have another suspect. So they start talking and then once that he's talked to his wife, he's, he has a surprise party with James Gordon and his wife. And Harvey then tells James Gordon, come on, follow me to, to the kitchen because we need to talk. And I say, okay, what's up? And Harvey then says, we need to talk about Bruce Wayne. That was the end of it. On me, on the meantime, Batman and Joker still fighting on the plane till eventually everybody's safe. You know, the plane crash on the on the Gotham Harbor, nobody dies, and the Batman says, Look, why are you trying to kill everybody? And the Joker says, Look, I'm just doing the same as you're doing. I'm trying to catch Holiday. You don't know who Holiday is. I don't know whose holiday is. Nobody knows who holiday is or a she. And Batman says, "What? Well, just by killing all the all those people, you're not gonna kill holiday? Well, maybe he's in there. Who knows? I mean, you need you got to crack a few eggs, a few eggs to make a home, to make a homeland. So that's a bad philosophy, but still. So we have the end of it that Batman stuff." The Joker by killing all those people at kind of like Central Park. So issue number four, it was an okay story. We got a new suspect now. Now we have a new dead body. Now we have uh, Salvatore Carmine's son Alberto died. Actually, he got killed. So nobody knows who shot him so I believe that well his father is gonna be really in a bad mood so nothing much happened on that issue it was okay well I would say that it could be a lot better actually it was kind of like the second part his confrontation with the with the Joker basically 
that's what it is. It was more concentrated, at least on this one, it was more, more centered between Batman and the Joker than anything else. So we got a new dead body, Harvey Dent still being the suspect in my eyes. So that's it guys. This is it. I hope that you like this video. Till later. Bye.